guys, uh, this is Sunday morning. You'll get this next Sunday. I'm uh, making a quick early morning trip to Walmart. Uh, someone requested, we're cooking today, G and I, or us, <laughs> us. And someone suggested, uh, could they have hot dogs? They'd love to have some hot dogs. Hadn't had hot dogs in a long time. Yeah, we can do that. So I'm going to run get some weenies. Y'all probably got them wieners. Y'all got them weenies. And uh, I'm going to grill them. I don't like boiled weenies. A lot of people just boil them for their hot dogs. I like mine grilled. I think most of them around here like them grilled. And I'll grill some sausage also, because some folks, you know, there might be one or two that rather have a sausage on a bun than a weenie on a bun. But that's where I'm going right now. And uh, I'll pick up uh, Lex a little breakfast. Uh, he goes back today. He's going back this afternoon. Let's just go take him back this afternoon because we would normally take him back tomorrow morning for, to school. But he didn't bring his backpack with all of his books and stuff he needs for his lessons. And so he said he'd rather go on back today and, and make sure he has all of his stuff. If his mom wants to bring his stuff and drop it off at school, she would not bring it off with what he needs and what he wants. So, uh, so he's going to sacrifice going back a little bit early and make sure he has all of his stuff. So let's just sit here and take him back to see me sometime. And uh, we had a fun time on that game yesterday. If y'all, you guys may have watched that, some of you may not have. But listen, they had a strategy to get me out of that game quick. Because they knew I was going to rule that, rule that whole board if they left me alone for a few minutes. They immediately, immediately started attacking me from all corners. <laughs> Get Pawpaw out of the game quick before he can build up some armies. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It was fun, a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And uh, now eventually, Ellie won. He eventually beat Buddy. Buddy and, and Ellie were the last two standing. And uh, Buddy had to leave. He kept putting it off. He said, I got to leave, Ellie. And she said, Let's just have three more rolls, and whoever's ahead at that point wins. So they started rolling. Uh, finally, Ellie had one more turn to go. Buddy said, I got to go. So he says, Pops, call me. Let me know who wins. So I did. I, Ellie won. I called him. And Buddy said, I want a rematch. I want, <laughs> I want a recount. There was some hanging Chad. <laughs> hanging Chad. Anyway, uh, I'm on my way. And I'm going to get Lex a little breakfast. Now I got to get Woody. Woody says he got to have a breakfast jack, too. So I'll get him breakfast jack. I may get me one. I may get me one. I haven't had nothing to eat yet. All right, we're on the highway now. So cut this yeah, we've got some road construction here, so I'm going to slow down. I'm going to show you something. This is where Moses come from. And, but the lady, it's not about Moses. The lady uh, has blue bonnets. They're beautiful. She, uh, she gathered up me a bunch of seed, you know, when they go to seed. She gathered me, me a little cup full of seed one time out here, and I took some of them up to the cemetery at Hempstead where my great-grandpa and my great-great-grandpa and all their families are buried and, and spread them around. You can see out there. Spread them around uh, the, the graves. And a year or so later, I was able to go up and visit and they'd come up and whoever mowed the cemetery had left them. Didn't mow them down. So pretty. You know, this is where Moses, this is where Moses come from. No, I'm gonna turn this off. Anyway, I took those seed up there and I planted them around that, around that uh, the tombstones. And then they came up and whoever mowed the, the yard, that cemetery, uh, left the little blue bonnets that were growing there. And I haven't been, it's been a couple of years ago, I haven't been back up there since. I want to go this, I'd like to go the next few days, I don't know if I can. But, and see, are they still there? Are they still spreading out? Or are they still letting them grow? Uh, it's a little cemetery way off out in the country. 
and it's where my grandpa grew up before he moved over to Splendor. Uh, his dad and his dad are all buried there and his mom and all them. So I'd like to go up there one day and maybe take Ben with me. Ben's went with me before. And maybe me and Ben will go up and make a little video one morning up there. Okay? Look at I. I was watching for me. See him? Look at him. Peeking around a corner. <laughs> what happened? Peeking around a corner is Popo. All right, I'm home. I gotta unload these roads. What I got you? It's called a breakfast jack. <laughs> I know all about breakfast jacks, Popo. You know, I can't go to town without it, Woody. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woody said, Papa. Papa looking out for him, Woody. Here. You have a little bite, buddy. Woody has to eat little small bites. Heidi should inhale this thing. Woody. That's little small bites. Oh, yeah, Papa. <laughs> Got it? Hang on. Hang on. Don't eat too fast. Slow down. Slow down, Woody. What's that cheese, Papa, sticking to me? You get it? <laughs> Woody. Got a piece of cheese stuck to him. Melted cheese. You ready? <laughs> it's stuck to his lip. He's having a hard time, wasn't you, Woody? You having a hard time, baby? Uh, hop up here. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> that was a big old bite there, Woody. Okay, here we go. This is it. We're gonna give the other, the other one to the boys in the side. Okay. Yeah, they not no fun, Papa. All them boys not no fun. I'm the fun guy. You are my buddy. You are my buddy, Woody. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Here, a little bite ready. Okay, let's go. All right, there you go, little man. All right, guys, we're home. Cut this off. Go. Come on. Not go white. <laughs> Not go white. Come on, get on here. Are y'all? It's all the way you're going to teach her. She's hard headed. She thinks she's not going to get on until I get ready to leave. At least I ain't got to call her a lot like I do Woody. We, I'm ready to take a nap, Papa. It's nap time for me. I had a, I've had a breakfast check, and I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> I forgot your feet. I'm coming. Oh, these guys. They're waiting for me to feed them. All right, come here. I, I feel sorry for you. That's the only reason I'm going to give you something. There. That's the only reason I'm going to give you something. I feel sorry for you. Your mama don't take care of you. Send you over here. Got this plan. What if I pinned them up? Would she ever know? Would she know? Then I could start selling her eggs. Cause she say, I'm not getting no eggs. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got no chickens either. She would never know. And I could sell her eggs. <laughs> so we got peacocks today. Look at there. Oh, look at peacocks. I love when they come off down here visiting. I love it. I heard them last night. They make a, a loud, loud sound. I heard them last night. Uh, I don't know if it was out here or if it was over out there somewhere around my shop, but I heard them real close. And here they are this morning. That's so neat. I've got your food right here. Stop being so impatient. I had to go to Walmart this morning. Uh, yes, I did. 
Yes, I did. You don't know what I had to do. I went to Walmart. Yeah. Such a giant goat. What, baby? Yeah, such a giant goat. You got what? Such a giant goat. We'll go over and pet him. Crap, no. You can go pet him. Oh, heck no. <laughs> he won't be too mean to you. And <laughs> he won't be mean. Oh, he won't be too mean. Little lady peacock wanted to come around here and all them goats come running. She went back. I'm pretty sure she'll come eat when they all settle down out here. Look at that ginormous goat. All these little guys here out playing. Really, I'm going to mop here now, okay? This one's here. You can't go in the play room. You have to sit them two little wild guys. They're pretty. That slide is not as slick as that other one. The other one on the other side, it's almost straight down. They hit it, they down the hill. All right, that one there come over to the side here to eat. I think the others will too when I leave. They're all out there. Female started over here, and then the goats all come running. She she backed up. This guy here is not afraid of him. Yeah, he'll eat with him. I think the skies may clear up today, guys. Looks like I see some blue skies back in there a little bit. I'm gonna run down and check the bee boxes. And then I'm gonna get back and start grilling those links and some weenies. Yeah, weenies, not wieners. No, not wieners or franks. Weenies. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Everything's turning green. I love it. Everything starts turning green. I want to get some fertilizer and bar electrical fertilizer spreader and fertilize this patch here too for the goats. This back here is pretty good. Fertilizer too expensive to fertilize all this one time. Way too expensive. We haven't had no activity at this box at all. And, but it's been cloudy and rainy. We're going to give it a few good days of sunshine. If we don't see some kind of activity, we may move it. But it should. It should draw out of those woods right there. It's, the wind's been kind of out of the south, blowing that uh, the smell of that box back into those woods. So should attract, but it hasn't yet. I don't see no activity at this one either this morning. Maybe it's just too, still too cool and it's too, uh, too moist. and It's kind of misty raining, but I'm hoping it's going to clear up here in a little while. So that might be the reason we're not getting no activity here. We've had activity already here, so maybe it'll be back after a while. All right, let's get on. Get to grilling. I was in there having his breakfast. There we go. Hurry up. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. set up and this little girl here wants her bottle and G's trying to get stuff going in here and Buster is not giving her a break uh weenies flanks stuff I need to get it going she can't hardly walk through the house that Buster grabbing her Buster. Help, what, what, what? Okay. That, that's the help I'm getting okay. The Kim don't want to do nothing. She come down here. She said to visit. I don't want to. Make I didn't it. come to cook. This I don't want to make it angry. This happens at night when she's got her nightie on fixing to go off the bed. She starts coming through from the kitchen to the bedroom and he's what is this hanging on. For the turnovers. <laughs> Buster, that's not nice. Just don't do that, okay? Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. Yes, he is. Such a, such a beautiful teacup. It is a beautiful teacup. <laughs> we're gonna come down. However, you're gonna do that. Got some barbecue sauce here. Sweet baby Ray. Oh shit, he got my knee. I gotta feed her first. Then she can go out. Because I can't cook with her climbing on me and knocking stuff over. So as soon as she finishes, I'm putting her out the backyard gate here. 
I can see her. She's right here in the yard. It should be fine. <laughs> she likes right up on my legs. She gets three bottles nowadays. That's it, kid. That's it. Nothing else left. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clear her out real quick, guys. Let me take her out. All right, guys, here's the way I do it. Now, I got these links in. I mean, this links. I, I cut my links lengthwise in half, okay? Now, some folks may not like it like that. Like Dan, I like a whole link. Okay, Dan, get two of them, son. Get two of them. Stick them together inside your bun. I don't care. But a lot of folks don't like a big old thick link inside a bun. Just say it. So this way, and I've always done it this way, everybody can have their own preference. You know? I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Yeah. And I like, like I told y'all earlier, I like grilled weenies. I don't like uh, boiled weenies, a lot of people do. That's fine. My mom used to do that. Stick them in a boiler, bucket of <laughs> a pot of water, and boil them. That was our hot dogs. But that's, that's not me. So I'll just turn all these around here a little bit, cook them on both sides. I'm gonna put a little bit, not much, a little bit of sweet baby ray on them. Kind of. You know, spice them up a hair. This is deer and pork sausage. Deer and pork, or venison and pork, yes, they call it. Okay. And these are plain old bar S weenies. And they're good. I got my little barbecue sauce right here. Out there in my shop, my kitchen, I use a paintbrush. <laughs> He saw, that's not, that's not kosher. I don't know what that means. But I like a paintbrush. When I get through, I can clean it out and paint with it. <laughs> Just joking, don't get all crazy on me here. Now, nah, don't get crazy. Uh-oh, I dropped one down there. That'd be dance. I'm not gonna fish it out. I'm not worried about fishing out. It's a thin slice like that right back there on the edge. I must get it right there. Just now sitting here watching the peacocks out here in the, in the goat pen. They, eat, they come, finally come over after everybody kind of cleared out and they eat all they wanted to eat. See them out there eat. Strut their stuff, and my boys strut their stuff, and the girls here still eating. Oh, they're pretty. They're pretty. I better, I better stay up. My focus right here. Woody, what are you thinking, Wood? Which, I'll, I'll eat a weedy paw while you get time. Okay, Woody. My little girl, I wouldn't let her stay in here with me because she keeps jumping up on them trying to cook. So I put her out the back gate right here and she went straight out there and got on the mule in her little seat. <laughs> in her seat and went to sleep. G come out and said, oh look, she's so sweet out there on that seat. Said, yeah, that's her mule. She already claimed it. I'm about to adopt me another granddaughter. I'm going to adopt me a new granddaughter. You're probably right. You go right on ahead. Maybe she'll take some of the workload. <laughs> it's all over. No, it's going to have to be a worker. It's going to have to be one that works. It's got to be a worker. And we're going I'm not to, training anybody. We're going to interview Don't her. Don't ask me. I won't train anybody. We'll interview her. Okay. We got the... Dan and Kim brought the tent bed down. My job is to put the door on it. Oh, man. I'll get the door on it after a while. Then I've got to tie in this plug over here that takes a special plug, 110, still a special plug, 120, and come around that wall 
over here somewhere where the plug's at. It's right maybe in the center. And put a plug for it to plug into. And she better be happy with this here and not want to be moving it again. Not again. <laughs> Danny, Kim brought this thing down. Awesome. Why are everybody's in this room? I'm gonna grab that cheese first. <laughs> Grab the cheese first, Dad, before you pray. All right, here we go. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day you give us, Lord. Thank you for giving us the strength to get that tent bed down from the upstairs. Let's pray that it never goes back up here ever, ever, ever again. Amen. And Lord, we just pray uh, for Mom and Dad. We thank you for this food that they prepared for us. We pray that you bless the nourishment of our bodies and be with Dad long life. And Mom, too. Jesus, amen. <laughs> you know, if we had enough faith, seriously, we could all hold hands Pray that in the morning that staircase would be changed. That's not going to happen. I think, uh, you know, so you might be right. You might be right, G. The Bible says it. But we don't have that faith. No, 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 I'm saying you might be right because I'm not sure that he was the Lord. We don't. I think think he helps people who help themselves. I think we're almost supposed to pray like within God's will that things happen too. You're just being superstitious now. No, it's not superstitious. No, I was saying we don't have that kind of faith. No, Bible, God don't make metaphors, Ben. I can't believe that you don't believe that God can heal people or do miracles. Hello, Levi. No, 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 no. We're not going to watch this stupid show again, Levi. I'm sick of it. Every time I come to your house, I have to watch this stupid thing. It, it's sick. It's sick. It's sick, Levi. I love you, baby boy. Watch old Dan. Dan's going to complain about the links being sliced. That's what I'm having, a sausage sandwich. Get your sausage, Dan? Mm-hmm. You get your sausage, Dan? I got one. Yeah. You like them like that? Slice like that? I like them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm allowed to tell. You always complain, you Dan. I already told everybody. Hey, I will say this, though. Oh, well, never mind. I better not say that. That video. And... I'll stop it. No, no, you got to stop it. You come over for dinner tonight, so I don't get laid. What? what? Laid? I ain't going to dinner nowhere tonight. Me either. Not it's right Hawaii. Now. Why is everybody's mind going to go to the gutter? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Why is everybody's mind going to go to the gutter? We're cooking for Hawaii and everybody's going to get laid. I know. And I, I, I can't understand what? what people are saying. Why did you say it? We would understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all are my family. I wouldn't tell y'all that, okay? Uh, You're being perverted. You're a nasty old man. You're so nasty. They know you do be a nasty person, Dave. Everybody knows you're nasty. This is sweet tea, but it is real sweet tea. Lou, did you find the cheese? I'm hoping and praying my wife brought me my tea. You didn't put any on that? I'm eating sausage. I like that. I said, I only have a little bit of cheese, and we always, always ask for cheese. Why don't you tell us? We got a bunch of cheese at home. I thought I had a bunch. All right, I think the sausage is the most popular, Jim. What is it? A ham. I know. Oh. I'm going to slice it up. You want chili? Honey? I'm going to slice it up after a while. Baby, what you want? I've got a chip and a bean. Okay, guys, this is what we have. Mm, Sausage. Weenies. Hot dog buns. Chips. Chili. Olives. Dip. All kinds of stuff to go on. And where's the pickles? Oh, yeah. Lou's not getting up. Lou, are you on that song? Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. 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 I've seen a meme this morning where this woman was trying to flirt with this cop, and she goes, What's your, can I have your number? He goes, Yeah, 911. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 911. <laughs> when you get to be a great grandma, you can flirt with people like that, and they just think it's funny. I remember that woman cop in Plum Grove, and she pulled me over that day, and I had the 
and she was so hateful to me and I was trying to be so nice to her. She was so hateful and wrote me that ticket and handed it to me real hateful. And then Daniel said, well, she pulled me over and I got out of that ticket. Oh, yeah. Dan, um, she pulls Dan over in the driveway. No, not that. That, that, um, that was 25 years ago. Okay, but anyway, you still tell this story. Years ago. Uh, what what, 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 what pulls Dan over bridge. in the driveway yeah. and when she's checking his license stuff, He's on the phone calling Royce, he was, he was a constable, said, hey, your officer just pulled me over, can you help me? Or he called Chris, that's who you called Chris, his son. Then Chris calls his dad, and his dad oh calls her God. on the radio and said, let him go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of phone calls being made real quick. I think, I think he started driving past my driveways real slow every day. Yeah, look, wait on Dan to come out. <laughs> there for Dan. Man. 30 years ago, Dad. Well, I don't years know, ago. Hey, but I got a good memory. <laughs> What do you think, baby? Wild bunch? Everyone's screwing each other over. I called you a fat butt. butt. <laughs> That's on me, but uh, I don't know about that, though. My tanning bed's down, baby. Yeah, I know. I'll wire it in tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I don't, I don't do it on Sunday afternoon, baby. You ain't supposed to labor on Sundays. I'll check and go to church. Yeah, 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 I'll check and go to church. All right, girls got to go, and Carla says, I'm not ready. <laughs> not ready. That's where I get y'all be. I just sit and talk. They tell me I'm a ray of sunshine, so. All right, guys, we're all done eating. There's Pete over here. Butterbear didn't want to stay. She's going home with her dad. Carly going to go to Tina's house. <laughs> Cuz come over, he's probably telling a lie. You know he gonna tell the truth. <laughs> Man, I'll probably go back to the back here in a little bit.